Hi everybody, welcome and thank you for clicking on my video. As you can see, I gave myself another unicorn cut. This time I did a single unicorn cut. I did not do the triple cut. Also, I did a U type of shape at the bottom because um, I didn't want that V shape that the triple unicorn cut gave me. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to get a U shape at the bottom if that's what you're looking for. As for me, my hair was extremely long and pretty dry at the ends. So I decided to take a big chop. I will be inserting pictures for you guys to see the difference um, from the regular cut to this cut. If you guys are interested in the triple cut and getting a V shape, I will link my video so you guys can check that out. There's no problem with the V-shape. I had it for a while. I just kind of got bored and wanted something different. Also, before we get into the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, I hope you guys give it a thumbs up. I hope this video is helpful for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so first I started off with freshly washed hair. I put on a hair mask, this one from Hair Food. It's a smoothing avocado argan oil. I got it from Target and this just helps to give you a slip. Okay, so I put a picture because I kind of cut myself off the frame. But here you guys can see how the triple cut gave me a V shape at the bottom. My hair is very long, guys. So for this haircut, you're gonna need a comb some shears I got these from Sally's and you're also gonna need two hair ties okay so first is first you're going to detangle your hair very well so make sure you brush your hair really good this is very critical guys so make sure you follow that once your hair is completely detangled you're going to bring all your hair to the front like so and you're going to brush it all the way to the front of your head Then you're going to tie your hair at the front like so to end up looking like a unicorn. Then you are going to brush again and put another hair tie at the bottom. Then with the same ponytail, you're going to figure out how much you want to cut off. Then when you figure that out, you're going to do a straight cut underneath the ponytail. So for me, I started off cutting three inches off. Here I'm just showing you guys how thick my hair is or just how much hair I have. Oh, and by the way, if you guys see any white stuff on my hair, it's paint. I was painting all weekend long, so that's why. So then after, you're going to want to untie your hair so you guys can check out the length. So here for me is when I decided that I was going to do another cut. I was going to cut up another inch or so. My hair was really long, so I really wanted to take more inches off. But remember guys, take your time because you cannot put hair back. So I'm just going to do exactly what I just did and cut my hair off again. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just struggling trying to cut this thickness off. 
I'm telling you guys, I have a lot of hair and it was just time for a cut. You guys see that thickness then this is optional you guys can just trim some heaviness off the ends I do this because as you can see my hair is really thick so I just wanted to take some heaviness off So now I'm finally happy with the length that I got and as you guys can see this gave me that V shape. So now I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that V shape. Then you are going to brush all your hair to the back like I'm doing here because you're going to do a part in the middle. Make sure you are as symmetrical as possible because now you're going to bring your hair to the front and we're going to do another cut. Here I'm just showing you guys the length of my hair and what we are about to cut off. I'm just measuring what I want to cut off. So for this part I decided to use a demon brush just because it's way easier than a wide tooth comb. If you have one, it's better to use. I would recommend it just to hold your hair better. So for the cut, we are going to cut the longest strands from the bottom layers like I'm showing you here. So here you're going to want to pull your hair to the opposite side so you guys can get the longest strands of hair to cut off. Make sure you hold your hair good with your fingers to guide you and cut a straight line. And I recommend for you guys to do small sections. Remember, you can always go back and cut again. That's what I did. And now you're going to do that to the other side. Remember, you're going to pull to the opposite side to get the longest strands. Bring your hair to the back and brush and you should start seeing your hair getting that U-form. So here I can still see those long strands so I'm going to do a second cut and I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did again. So again, this is optional. I'm just going to trim a little bit of the heaviness off the tips. So here you guys can compare both the cuts, the regular unicorn cut and me cutting off those extra long layers at the bottom. If you guys look closely, you guys can see that I still had one little tiny bit of a strand. I did, I did cut that off off camera. If you guys want to shape it more, feel free to cut a little more. But like I said, just be careful and do it in small sections so you don't cut off too much.
but yeah guys these are my final results i really love how this came out i really love the shape at the bottom i really hope this video was helpful for you guys and you guys understood if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions please let me know below and thank you so much for watching i hope you're back to see my next video bye guys